Good evening and welcome back to the action from table two. This is Jordan Shepherd against Connor Treacy. And it's uh, event two pro series, last 64. The last match was done in double quick time. Jordan Shepard having to pull stumps on that clearance, run out of position. Snooker here for Connor. for yellows tied up in that little cluster of four balls. <clears throat> Not the easiest ball to, to try and develop. You're going to see a power screw shot. Try and get everything moving. He doesn't, but he has left another angle. So he's left a Clutching a little bit now. He's left a half ball cut to bottom right with an angle to get into it. Hmm. Not sure. shot but that's all he could do there Connor has got all kinds of problems here as well so better to let him try and work it out yeah he couldn't do a lot there he's just made sure he hasn't left an angle for Jordan to do something with that yellow and develop it. Tried to play a um, loss of turn there, leave nothing. Still got the problem with these two, these two yellows, but should be able to deal with it now. They don't plant, so doesn't need to do too much to try and develop them. May just to be able to land on it actually. Just come short side, just below them. She's still got that ball over the middle, which is the problem. Maybe they just land it to, to play one to top right. But I think he's going to go into them. Yeah, just a nudge. Didn't need to do too much more. Actually, may have. Um, just come out about as bad as it could have. He can't get through to the one near the middle. He don't think he can, or maybe he can. He's straight down on it, unless he's, yeah, he's playing the plant, I think. 
Yeah, played the plant. No good. And I think he's left. Has he left the big pocket? Mm, Dunno. Uh, not sure. Well, Jordan straight down. I think he thinks, yeah, he thinks it's a big pocket. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's one of those you don't hit it absolutely full ball because the yellow will just stay there. You need to just hit it almost full ball just on the inside and, and, and just drop over. Yeah, that was always a danger. If you hit it too full, then it stays there. Blimey, what a first frame. Both players have had their chance. works that's okay and I've got some company on commons now it's Josh Kane hey Josh evening Nick evening to everyone at home yeah I was just out in the arena it looked like a bit of a few strange shots by both players to start this match oh miss the pot miss the pot well it's given Jordan a chance and will uh, we see the cocked hat double yeah I think it's cocked hat is all he's got here Oh, cocked hat isn't all he's got here, of course. He's got the loss of turn. I was nearly falling asleep there up in my room until Simon text, <laughs> so I'll just blame that on a bit of uh, <laughs> tiredness. <laughs> yeah, I was sat here thinking the same thing. Yeah, obviously, he's got, he's, got, he's got the loss of turn, which is clearly the right shot to play in that situation. Yeah, that is 100% the right shot to play. <laughs> <laughs> you saw it immediately as well, didn't you? That's a great pop. Just have to pull another one out here. Yeah, yes. great pot, but he has no shot no. here now. No. Do you try and play the delicate snooker if if the if the cue ball rolls over a finger mark and double kiss? I think I think you might be tempted to have a swipe, but maybe the ticket is the right shot. Yeah. Yeah, not like that though. I agree. I agree. Um, well, I think for me it was just trying to crack at it, just go down. Go down fighting. Yeah, even though he if you was get it wrong, you put it on a plate, don't you? Yeah, even though he's playing a safety shot, it was still a very high tariff safety shot. Oh, is there a bit of needle there with those two? Oh, I don't know if there's, if there's needle, but um, but Ryan's uh, got some confidence about him. Let's say okay, like confidence you know. of youth, is it, Nick? Yeah, yeah I remember when yeah. I was about that age, probably swagging around the table, yeah. giving it the big one. Yeah, <laughs> I know he's what that um, was like. A few battle scars now, though. I'm not so. Uh, He's just gone on the hill. He's six five up. Ryan is. Yeah. It's a decent layout here for Connor, but he's got a little bit of work to do. Um, I think you pop this one in the top now. Pop the one by the yellow. And then you play a cannon off the one nearest to the red and the eight that's tied up, and then he's pretty much guaranteed to land on the one in the opposite corner. I think that's what he'll be looking to do here. Yeah, going back to the results she was on about Nick, uh, I was watching the John McAllister v Aaron Davis match in the room and that was just faultless pull by John. Breaking so well, monster splits, Aaron not breaking so well and just relentless. I mean, if Phil does get through to the final, that, I mean, that should be an absolute cracker because John's on some superb form. Phil's just been getting better and better over the last four or five months and uh, he's been playing incredible pool this weekend as well so that could be lights out oh, that's gone wrong I'm not sure why he's played that so pacey crazy way to play the shot yeah from what I've seen today obviously when I've not been playing Phil Harrison looks to be playing some great stuff and so does John so it's probably a deserved final if, if Phil is to get over the line against Cormac Oh. Connor's a bit out of sorts here. Yeah. Very out of sorts. Carl Coke Sean's story one each. 
Mark Fleming 2 0 up against Seifert Simmons. Vivek Mack 2 0 up against Liam White. Craig Wadd Waddingham's won the first frame against Cleve Thompson. So that's all the score lines from Pro 2. Challenger are down, Challenger Tier 1 are down to the last 32. I think they play, I think they play to a semi final tonight, so they've got quite some way to go. There's yeah, 16 games in that last 32 to go, and it's 10 past 9 already, so it might be a bit of a late night for those guys. Yeah, we've seen a lot last season with the first Challenger Series event. There was matches going on until finishing at 1 or so in the morning. I think they had to push a few back also. Obviously, I think there's an hour scheduled for each match, but race to six, if it's a scrappy, sometimes it can take up to two hours, maybe yeah. even more, because obviously there's no shot clock. Yeah. For the challengers on the outside tables, it's not like the pros where a match is never really going to run over schedule unless there's a six red shooter. And Connor needs to be careful here because Sheppy's one, probably one of the best front runners in the game. And if you let him get ahead, he can get away from you really quickly, and before you know it, you're four or five behind. Not the start he would have wanted to the season, but uh, there's a long way for him. thing is Nick there's so many good players about these days and it's not like sort of back in the day where the, the lesser up and coming players were afraid of the big names that, that no one's really afraid of the big names anymore and I think that's the big, biggest difference from today's game yeah they relish it don't they yeah I think yeah that, that's a great point you know there's if you look back at some of the world championships that, that Phil had I know um, sorry that, that, that Mick had um you know, he openly admitted. I was talking to him one day, and um, and he said that, you know, there's times when he went into the arena, and he just looked the guy in the eyes, and he knew before they'd even potted a ball, I've got you, I've got you, yeah. just because of who I am. He's he's already shaking in his boots, sort of thing, and it, it it's 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 a it's a massive advantage. It's like a three frame advantage before you've even potted a ball. It's incredible, but you're right. You don't you don't get that anymore. No one's Everyone's just raring to go. Yeah. They can't. They can't wait to be. You know. You, you look down at the draw, and sometimes you're you're absolutely loving the fact that you've just been picked against a pots or someone along those lines. Just just so you can go out and prove yourself. Like you yeah, know. Definitely, 100% agree with you. Nick. Like people against Mikhail, especially, they would just like mix probably bang on with what he said to you. As you could see from their demeanour, their body language. I've got you and I 100% agree with me. You do see it. You don't see it as much these days though. That's why I was just trying to make yeah. the point of that. But yeah. Wow, Connor's really... I don't get the shot he played previously when he was at the table. It was just a, a nothing shot really. He's, he looks very out of sorts. He does. Did go for something tweet with Connor <laughs> and Christy about an hour or so ago. Maybe he's... Uh, He's overeating or something. I don't know. <laughs> had a secret dessert without us knowing. I'm not sure. <laughs> but yeah, it's not like Connor to miss balls like that. He's such a good cueist. Someone I obviously know very well. Practice together a lot from the same area. Um, he is one of the best single ball potters around, to be honest. So yeah, he just needs to settle here because, as I said, this match could get away from him very quickly and the last person you want to be gifting frames to and giving confidence is Jordan Shepard. Shepard will be frustrated though. I mean, he's um, he knows that, you know, despite the fact that Connor's out of sorts at the moment, he's he's a quality player. He just wants to, you know, want to stamp his authority and get this game over with as quickly as possible. And it's just, it's not really happening for him either at the moment. There's a couple of, um, couple of unforced errors. Yeah, if I'm Connor here, he's massive second favourite for the frame. I, I think, have a go. You know, he, he's trying to, he's, he's played a few nothing shots in this frame. He, he, for me, from here, Nick, he hasn't really got anything on. And I mean, he's playing off these here, but he's not going to gain anything from that. I suppose, yeah, maybe not a bad shot, but 
I, I, I can't see Jordan giving him an open chance after this frame. Jordan's been around the block enough to know that he's not just going to give Connor an easy chance now when he's been struggling. That's the last thing you want to do when your opponent's struggling. And it was nearly a gift. Tried to develop with the shot, but uh, yeah, it's just going to have to Little another one and it's just getting worse, isn't it? I mean, it's just a bit messier now. Yeah, strange start to the match by both players, really. Isn't it? Isn't it ever? You see it, though, so many times. If Connor's not expecting this performance from Jordan, Jordan's not expecting this performance from Connor, and then you sort of just, you end up dragging each other down sort of thing. It's crazy the amount of times you see it because they're both probably expecting explosive starts from each other and it's just not happened and it's sort of as, as if you drag each other down. No point attacking from here. Yeah, I'm not sure he gains much from that. If he had, if he. I guess it gets him a ball in the mix to be able to develop. Yeah, I suppose so. It, the other two reds. If he actually did get that right over the pocket, he could have been in a bit of trouble. But yeah. I don't know if this is the right shot by Connor either. He could leave a loss of turn and leave himself in a bit of trouble. But Jordan's still in a lot of trouble with that red up in the ball carrier. And now with all of his balls down this, not even this half of the table, this, this end of the table, he couldn't be any further away from... It's going to go Kush first. Just try and get inside that red, pop the yellow. That's what he was targeting. See, now in this rule set, if I'm Connor, I think it's, there comes a point where you have to go because yeah. you can find yourself in more trouble yeah. with this rule set. Yeah. Have a dip. Yeah, that's the right shot for me. No, I think if he's straight enough on this bottom ball no I think you take the top ball now and develop <coughs> okay surprised he paid to bump the yellow there but he's yep. still okay if he bumped the red he was guaranteed to be on that ball at the top but he's still got a shot on the ball at the top and the other two in the middle of the table still a lot of work to do here because this is exactly where he wants the cue ball for that last yellow in the into the bottom corner yeah. I'll be tempted to take it now to yeah. get it out of the way because if you don't land there then you can't get physically get on the eight ball without a little bit of luck he didn't quite get through that but he's got away with it and he's actually perfect here now this is just to stun it back a little bit and leave the natural on the other ball to stun down for the eight Oh, he's just... I think he's come too far. I think he is. He's going to have to take his medicine, I think. And I think he can top it through off the bottom, off the top cushion. Or is he screwing back for he's middle pocket? Back. Yeah, it was medicine. He's, he's gone off. in off. What, what are we seeing here? <laughs> wow. Jeez. Wow. <sighs> Neither player looks particularly settled at the moment, but... If Connor can find this eight ball, yeah, great pop, but uh, wow. A little bit of luck or, or a bit yeah. of a mistake from your opponent. How many times do we see a, an amazing split, a couple of balls down and yep. a break clearance? And there you are, two each, isn't it? You know, it's, um, it can happen. Yep. Finds a ball. Oh, and look at the layout. I heard Whelan on commentary in a, in a game earlier and he was saying it's amazing. It's it's not just coincidence. It, it, you just see it happen that many times. That's, yeah. that's just what that's. It's just Paul. It's just what happens in the game. We've we've all played for long enough now to realise that a big mistake can cost you three, four, even five frames sometimes. 
Luke Gilbert's won the first frame against Oli Bell. Carl Cope's two and up oh. against Sean Story. Oh my word. Amazing. You missed it, Luke. You was watching results. Yeah, but I was looking at results. That's an unbelievable miss. And I think it's a pretty meat and drink skill shot for for Sheppu. Kind of flashing the lubes for the fans, even at the big one. Making sure the souls are on show. Go on, lad. <laughs> <laughs> Cormac Kerr has won the first frame against Phil Harrison. Yeah, Cormac, is, he's not going to be a pushover, obviously. I think he's won two world titles at under 23 age, so he's been, on the, he's been around on the biggest stages, and I don't think the occasion will get to him, but... Oh, that was he's actually had a result there because he's played that at a pace to pop both and <laughs> he's missed it by that far. He's had a he's had a bit of a result that the yellow's still blocked the red. The pace he's played this at, he's it sort of double kissed the red and left the yellow there. Yeah. Yeah, that could yeah. Really easily come yeah. away. Open the table right up. And this is really out of sorts from Connor. Yeah, it'll be turmoil in his head. He'll want to yeah. just find a way to settle. It's not It's not a, a gimme chance, if you like, from for Jordan. He's, he's got work to do to get back on that one on the rail. He's got work to do to get on the eight. Yeah, I think he's picked a good route here because he can leave the natural on the one in the, to the top pocket yeah, that's <coughs> just to drift down anywhere sort of near the left centre or just past it. He's, he's on the eight into the bottom right corner. Just picking the angle that he wants. A run the cue ball through onto the top cushion. Which tells you that the yellow must be, yeah, it's just oh yeah, slightly off so he's just got the angle there that he can punch down got a decent margin of error as well anywhere from kind of just above the top knuckle of the middle pocket yeah he's good uh, yeah perfect and what are the odds on a Jordan Shepard break and finish after after this frame I think they're pretty low cut break yeah missed time cut break as well I mean he's um he's it's so low on that second ball that the, the cue ball's come down to the bottom cushion which means he's hit it really low you see here that cue ball just goes straight down table normally it goes sideways and then kind of back across if you flush it so it tells you that he's just mistimed that slightly still had a result though he's um he's part of the ball it's in control of the table it's not a again it's not a gimme finish you rarely get rarely get dollies from the cut break. You often get clusters, especially if you don't time it properly. Yeah, I think we used to see Jordan use the cut break a lot on, on a different type of table. But I think the cut break works a lot better on the outside tables rather than these. And I, I haven't seen much of Jordan this weekend, but I'm not sure if he's used the cut break already. I don't know if you've watched any of his matches, Nick. Um, I only watched... Um, all I watched so far was the end of the Cleve Thompson game when um, when they played the uh, the six red shootout that's it I think that's the only game he's played this weekend <laughs> this is his second match yeah and he's that chasing. was an ordinary shot there wasn't it I mean everything was open and um, mm, he's going to have to pull one out here yeah, I think he's got to load this up with a lot of side or, or yeah. deep screw, and from yeah. that angle, he needs yeah. to be very accurate. I think he's topping it. Don't see him screwing this. Top and right hand side, you see the cue oh, ball. Good shot. Oh, what a great shot. Yeah, good shot. Still comes shy though. It's, he's going to do well to screw it past that, you know. I think he can just nip it. Yeah. Oh, from the overhead, it mm. looks like, because the more pace he plays it at. So he's little. Yeah. yeah, he was fine. Easily. He doesn't want to be on the rail. Oh, that's no good. 
He's going to just have to take his medicine. Yeah. And he knows it too, so he's just straight down, drop it in. Leave himself a thin one. Pockets are generous, but this is still a very tough shot. Yeah, it is. It is hard to judge. Yeah, yes, good yeah. Very good. <coughs> it's going to be a short weekend if uh, if you lose your opening two matches. Oh, well, that's a monster break by Conway. Flushed them. Yeah. And a great layout. I did see another tie in the in the ladies was Emma Cunningham against Emma Parker. Isn't Emma Parker the highly rated snooker player? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that would be interesting to see how she gets on. Emma's tuning up in that at the moment. Which Emma's that now? Emma, sorry, <laughs> Emma, Emma Cunningham. Uh, it's been a long day. <laughs> That's not a great nudge. No, it's not. It's pushed the eight worse than what it was before because I'm not sure it goes in right centre now. And he's got no ball to get near there. Yeah, I mean, if it, if it does, he's he can leave the... Leave the yellow nearest the right hand corner pocket nearest us um, as his last ball, but it's going to be tough to join from this top ball to the one over the middle, though that's the Isn't only it? issue. And then he can't really get on the eight off the one over the center either. So, yeah, he's chasing now. I've, I think he, he's probably second favorite <laughs> to get these now, to be honest, because they just don't join up very well. Yeah, I, I don't know how he gets on the eight. Is he looking as if to sc screw back off the one in the centre and get the cue ball back down near the bottom cushion? I bottom? think he's looking at leaving an angle where he can kind of, kind of drag it with, with right hand side and just come below those those two reds. I think that's what he's looking at. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that, that's the angle. That's pretty good, but he still has to play a shot here. Yeah, yeah, he needs. He needs a cue ball <laughs> back probably four inches further on from where it is now, towards his hand. Yeah, Just I don't got think there. he's there. I think he has to play this long. Yeah, he's Oh, you're been, right. Yeah, he's not on that. I thought he just got there, but you're right. He's, he's going to have to go long. He's a big pot. No, no. that's country mile away. Connor, oh, I must have been a kick because Connor's not missing the pot from by that far. I don't think Connor's a user of the town chalk, and that's why all the most of the other professionals <laughs> use the town chalk. Yeah. It's very rare that you see a kick if both players are. Well, I don't think I've ever seen a kick in a match where both players are using the town chalk. Brilliant um, invention by Town Billiards and it's evolved the game. I couldn't tell you the last time I seen a kick um, unless that was one there, but I'm mm. going to give Connor the benefit of the doubt and say that was one. And this isn't looking too good for Connor. As we touched on before, one of the best front runners in the game is Jordan. And when you give him confidence from nothing, he, he gets his tail up and he'll have that swag around the table and that's when he is hard to stop. I don't think Jordan's overly pleased with his own game, to be honest. I think that, that last red there didn't go in clean and he sort of, no. I think he even muttered something to himself, but... Yeah, he knows he's not playing. Sometimes you've got to go through those motions to to get yourself back in form. Yeah, I do use the cut break on the odd occasion myself on, a, on an outer table, but uh, it's very rare that you see any great success with it on these match tables. Yeah, I think the only, the only player who's really mastered it that I've seen over this event uh, great pot. has been Cormac Kerr. He's been playing it exceptionally well. He had one dry break in his 
his previous match. I Very effective for him. Yeah, I haven't seen any of his matches today. Oh, he's had a touch there. If he's on this bottom one, he's had a touch. That's not how he played it. I think he was banking on being on the one nearest the eight ball. Still got to mind his work because, yeah, he can just stun this back and le leave a cut on the red into the centre and naturally come back out. Yeah, that's perfect. Is he okay? Yeah, he's okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Thought he'd just come a roll too far with the natural that he was going towards down the bottom of the table, but he's fine. His camera angles can deceive us sometimes, mm. isn't it? Yeah, I'm forever getting caught out. Just strokes at him really nicely. He's doing what he needs to do. He's on the hill. Big player in Jack Whelan. Tom Jones played Carl Cope in the in the first um, in the first event, and they had a cracking match between them. Tom can be uh, a fast and quite destructive player, but he's going to have to bring his best game to beat Jack. And uh, over on the other table will be Lewis Roberts against Neil Raybone. I believe that's a bit of a rivalry, isn't it? Carl Cope and Tom Jones. I'm sure, yeah. they've had a few. A yep. couple of big money games already and they're yep. both only, well, I'm not sure how old Tom is, but I know Kyle's only a young lad, even though his poor game is he's pretty mature beyond his years, the way he plays the game. I think, can Sheppy just screw back to the side rail here and drop, either drop the yellow in the centre or play it long? Yeah. Oh, he's, he's played the cannon. Trying to give it a flick. It was nearly inch perfect. Mm. And now I think he's going to leave a double on it. I think it might drop in the centre, Nick, if, if you land good on it. Yeah. For me here, I'd be taking the one by the eight ball and going back up for the two in the middle. And then at worst, you're going to have a double on that red on the side rail. But I think it might even drop in the centre. He's not gone high enough there if he was playing on the one closest to the red. So yeah, he can he can leave it till last now if he. No, he's not going to. Is he playing ball off ball? It doesn't look like it's on. Oh, it was on. Oh, he's had a rub. I think. <laughs> okay, has he got the natural to? No, I don't think that the pace he's got to play it. Red's in the way, isn't it? Yeah. But he can. He, he, I think he can cut this in. Hold on the red. Mm. Yeah, it sounds silly, but he might actually screw off the red back into the centre pocket he's nearest if, if he really gets into the cue ball I don't think it's really on but yeah he's not playing it with that much screw oh, played it off the knuckle uh, is, is this sticky can he just top through onto the red for a shot in the centre or can he come back for the same pocket yeah it's, yeah, it's okay shot. not um I don't know, it wasn't the best performance from either player, really. But I mean, Jordan Shepard has, in fact, gobbled up all the chances that uh, that have come his way, and uh, it's a bit one-sided. But um, it's not the way Connor would have wanted to um, to start out this weekend, or you know, to, or should I say, finish this weekend, really. Now, 